Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Brave has received an update, which rolled out on the 8th, which was late yesterday, once again in my region. And this update um, brings a couple of changes to Brave. First of all, um, it adds a first-party exception list to the correct ad block engine, if you are using uh, Brave Shields. And once we've double-checked that we have this update, it also brings the security fixes that started rolling out for Chrome. And these are the weekly security fix updates that roll out and for Google Chrome, which will make their way into the other Chromium-based web browsers. So um, the latest version in build after this update has been applied, version 1.60.114, Chromium platform 119.0.6045.124. Now that Chromium platform update includes one security fix, and that's a high-risk security issue. Use after free in web audio and use after free are common exploits in Chromium-based web browsers, which basically get packed, patched on a week-to-week -week basis with these weekly security updates that do roll out now. So just double-check your browsers up to date. Now, with all of that out of the way, I would say that the big one with this update is that Brave Leo, which is a Brave's AR assistant, is now becoming more widely available. And last week with version... 1.60 it was a new feature that started rolling out to a small subset of users and now i see with this update on both my devices with brave web browser brave leo the ar assistant um the equivalent to google bard and microsoft's Bing chat brave leo now starting to make its way into the brave web browser so you may have seen it in your region you may have not just bringing it to your attention so where you'll find leo is uh in the sidebar and here we go. It says, Hi, I'm Leo. I'm a fully hosted AI assistant by Brave. I'm powered by Llama 13B, B, a model created by Meta to be performant and applicable to many use cases. So first of all, let's just do a kind of a walkthrough. If we head to the three-dotted menu, yeah, you can uh, change your different language models. So currently you have three, but I see that two are locked. So obviously this is for premium. Uh, you can create a new chat, you can toggle on suggested questions, you can go premium and then if we head to settings, this will take us into the actual settings where now we've got a Leo setting that's applicable to the left-hand menu in the settings of the browser where you can show Leo icon in the sidebar. So you have the option to turn it off, um, show, show suggested prompts in the conversation and yeah, you can change your default model for new conversations and you can clear uh, the actual chatbot's data. Now, something else to take note of. Let's just do a quick hi just to generate a conversation. There we go. And there we go. That's the response. And then after you've done that, you can head to the responses three dot menu. Click on that and you can copy that. Obviously, it's still early days. So Brave wants your feedback. You can like, dislike. And then if you want to clear the chat, you can just head up to the little erase conversation history button in the top right. And there we go. So Brave Leona. Uh, becoming more widely available and this was a new feature that rolled out as mentioned last week with 160 and now it seems that brave is pushing that out to a lot more um regions globally with this update so as mentioned quite a lot going on with this update and um, we get that uh, brave shields improvement the security fix for the uh, chromium uh, platform and now we get leo added to brave with this update that rolled out on the 8th of november so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one